Many of you have never watched a football match hosted in Qatar. Some of you have, but the stadiums have since been given facelifts, so you probably don't know what the stadiums over there look like right now. Well, wouldn't you like to? Come along and take a virtual tour with us. Here are eight brilliant Qatar World Cup football stadiums. Number one, Khalifa International Stadium. The Khalifa International Stadium is the only stadium that existed before Qatar won the rights to host the 2022 World Cup. It is a really beautiful stadium with a capacity of 45,416, and the roof as well as the spiral ramps remind us of Manchester City's Etihad Stadium and even Stadium Australia in the Sydney Olympic Park. This stadium hosted the FIFA Club World Cup final between Flamengo and Liverpool in 2019 and will host the third place playoff match, one round of 16 game and six group stage matches. Number 2. Al Bight Stadium This is another beautiful stadium which received a Class A rating from the Global Sustainability Assessment System. In this stadium, there are great energy usage practices, which makes it very environmentally friendly. It has a capacity of 60,000, but we hear it will be scaled down to about half of that number after the World Cup and will be used by local club Al Core. One thing we really love about this stadium is its retractable roof, which will provide shade for not only the spectators, but also the players on the pitch. Now, isn't that just amazing? The ground will host six group stage games, including the opening game of the tournament between Qatar and Ecuador and a highly anticipated England vs USA game. It'll also host three knockout games, including one of the semi-final matches. Number 3. Lusail Iconic Stadium this one is truly an iconic stadium. It is the largest one in the whole of Qatar, with a capacity of 80,000. That makes it bigger than most of the big stadiums in Europe, including Old Trafford, Anfield and the Emirates Stadium. Being the biggest stadium in the country, the Lusail Iconic Stadium has been given the responsibility to host the biggest game in world football this year, the World Cup Final. Apart from the final, it will play host to nine other games at the tournament. Number 4. Ahmed Bin Ali Stadium If this stadium looks familiar, then maybe that's because it is. It played host to the FIFA Club World Cup semi-final between Bayern Munich and Al Ali in February 2021. At the World Cup, it will host six group games and one round of 16 match. It has a capacity of close to 50,000 and it reportedly will be downsized to about half that number after the World Cup and will become the home ground of local club Al Rayyan SC. This stadium has existed since 2003, but in 2015, it was demolished and then built up afresh so it could match the standards of the World Cup. Number 5. Stadium 974 this one will probably win the award for coolest stadium name at the 2022 World Cup. Formerly known as Raz Abu Aboud Stadium, its name was changed to Stadium 974 after the country's international dialing code. Coincidentally, 974 shipping containers were used in the construction of this stadium so you can say it was perfectly renamed. It has a capacity of 40,000 and will play host to a series of group stage games. Number 6. Education City Stadium This is another familiar stadium. It hosted the FIFA Club World Cup final between Bayern Munich and UANL last year. The stadium was named after the city where it's located. Qatar Foundation's Education City, which is home to a number of university campuses. The Education City Stadium is one of the most environmentally sustainable stadiums in the world, with about 20% of the building materials used to construct this one being identified as green. This earned the stadium the nickname Diamond in the Desert. This stadium has a capacity of a little over 45,000 and will host eight games at the World Cup. Number 7. Al Janoub Stadium This is another really modern stadium, and just like the Al Bait Stadium, it has a retractable roof. This 40,000 capacity stadium will play host to seven games at the World Cup, after which its capacity will be halved and the stadium will become home to Al Wakra SC. Number 8. Al Tumama Stadium 
Just like most of the stadiums which were constructed for the World Cup in Qatar, the Al Tumama Stadium is a 40,000 capacity stadium which will be halved after the tournament's over. It was officially opened a year ago and it's located in the capital city of Doha. It will play host to eight games at the World Cup, including one round of 16 game and one quarter final game. Which of these stadiums will be playing host to your national team come November? And which do you think is the most beautiful? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content. Catch you in the next one. Bye!